So many boxes. Moving into a new house can often be a bit of a hassle because you have all these boxes that you need to pack out and need to figure out where all your things should now be because it's a completely new space. However, a lot of people tend to do this the old fashioned traditional way where what you actually do is you take the things out of the boxes and then you put them where they have to be. There's a newer, a modern way of doing it by which you simply think about where you want everything to be and simply by thinking about it hard enough, it is, I swear, it is possible to put everything back in its place. Let me show you. So here are all my things and these are going to go into the drawers you see there and that cupboard there. Now if we try wishing really, really, really hard then maybe there is a possibility that... Yes, we made it. Excellent, it worked. We managed just by the power of thought to get all my things into, ooh, the books are there as well, all my things into the right places. Now, well, I'm saying this, I haven't really checked it, but let's see. <laughs> so as you can tell, I've moved into a new place, which is cool. I like it here. It's going to mean that I'm going to have to get used to now everything being a little bit different, and I'm going to try and figure out where to put the camera from now on. From a more personal point of view, it also means that now I have lots of new neighbours that I'm going to get to know and befriend. I also happen to live on university campus now, which means that I am close to everything, which is really cool. Although I guess that doesn't really matter to you. I'll be staying here for one year and during that time you'll be seeing me experimenting a bit with the different angles, the different lighting, the different backgrounds and different kinds of things like that. And after that I will move again and I'm going to have to start all over. But that's the fun of it, isn't it? Oh, one thing I really like about this place as well is that light up there because it's really, really bright and it means that I can now, as you can see, I can now film in the evening. Which is excellent because I couldn't do that before because it was such a dim light bulb that there simply wasn't enough light to get a good image. I feel like my videos are actually now falling into the pattern that I wanted when I, when I started this very channel. So if you haven't heard of that, if you haven't seen the first videos I made, my intentions are to make a video every other week and then the weeks in between I'm going to make some other random video. And I think that's probably going to be the pattern from now on. Occasionally I'll miss out a few, but it's generally going to be every other video is a book review and every other is something else. Non days. I also originally intended things to be uploaded on Monday and I, I think subconsciously try and stick to that even though sometimes it may just be uploaded on a completely different day of the week. But generally that's the kind of idea I have in mind so it may be uploaded either Sunday morning, Sunday evening or Monday evening but around that time usually I think is what's going to happen. Now don't see this as a promise because I've been horrible at keeping YouTube promises but if you want a rough guideline on what's going to happen on this channel this is it. Um, so. I've been thinking about starting to vlog, as in giving you updates about what's happening in my real life. Would anyone like that? Does anyone care about things like that? I never watch vlogs, I think they're boring as hell. I don't think I'll normally use this camera angle. If, if things seem like a bit wonky now, it's because the tripod is actually standing on my bed. Um, but I think I'll probably normally film it from the other side. But I. I think this looks nice as a kind of vlogging style camera angle because you can see the beautiful posters I have here and my laptop and it looks more homely. <sighs> my leg. So this is going to be my new room for a year and I hope you're going to enjoy all the different views of it that you're going to see.